team environment uh, uh, from a heat and humidity standpoint. Uh, but there's so many diverse species. So you see, and when I moved here, and when my parents from Tennessee would come down, and they had never seen azaleas like this, and camellias, and all the multitudes of things. So just from your wildflowers to your woody plants, even the native grasses are, are unique. So there's such a diversity here. And so when, uh, when you have a meeting like this, uh, it's, it's exciting. And I personally want to express my appreciation uh, to uh, Amy Carter, and to Glenda Gibbs, and to Dana Cheek, three of our folks here that work really hard and have been shepherding this conference or in cooperation, I'm, I'm sure Amy will say, with, with a lot of folks, but they've really taken a leadership uh, role from our campus standpoint, so I express my appreciation to them. So when you talk about all the diversity of things that y'all see and as far as wildflowers, I want to tell you that the University of Georgia here at the Tifton campus is very diverse as well. We've got almost 500 people that work here. Uh, almost 400 of them are uh, University of Georgia people, another 100 are USDA ARS, about 85 PhDs here working on all different aspects of agriculture. And so you think about us, you think about peanuts and corn, you think about soybeans, you think about feeding the world, which is very, very important and that's what we do. Uh, in addition, however, we try to look out for water quality. So we've got people here that are researching not only keeping your water safe, uh, but also keeping it abundant as well. Um, we've got people who are molecular geneticists. We've got people who do all that strange, scary stuff. But these folks really are taking real world problems and they're using advanced science to solve them. In the case of peanuts, we're making peanuts that are healthier. And a molecular geneticist put the, put the genes in that peanut plant in 26 months to make it carry a higher oil content, which is a high quality oil, traditional breeding would have taken 12 years, 12 to 14 years. And so we're using those techniques and some really sharp scientists to do those things. So we're wanting to feed the world. Uh, we're looking out after your water quality. I think part of your tour is the future farmstead, and you're gonna learn about how we're gonna use agriculture to make sure that uh, we have abundant and renewable energy in your future as well. So we like to think we're pretty diverse here uh, as well, uh, Amy. And so it's, a, it's an exciting place to be. Last thing, I always have to throw in a commercial. Um, you are at the University of Georgia at our Tipton campus. We're one of three campuses on uh, the UGA College of Ag. We have our main campus in Athens. We have a campus similar to ours here in, uh, in Griffin, Georgia and then we have this one here as well. Did you know that students can come to us right here in Tifton and get their BS degree from the University of Georgia? They come to us, they transfer with their first two years from ABAC or Darton or Bainbridge College or others. They can come here and get a major in Agri-Science and Environmental Systems, Agricultural ag Education, uh, Ag Business, even Biological Sciences, which will prepare students for pre-med, pre-dental, pre-veterinary. And so those students come here and get their BS degrees. We've been doing it for about 10 or 12 years. So if you've got a, a son or a daughter, a friend, relative, uh, and they're interested in agriculture, or maybe not even agriculture, biological sciences and going to med school or something similar, have them contact us because they can come right here and get their BS degree right here and stay on and get two master's degrees as well. So that's a commercial. Uh, we're really glad you're here. Again, I want to thank our folks for, for everything that they do to make this happen. And uh, I feel a lot of enthusiasm and excitement in the room. So I'm going to get out of the way and let y'all get started with your important part of your conference. So welcome. We're glad you're here at the University of Georgia.